everyone welcome to qr school in this video you will learn what is one sample t test when to use it and how it can be applied using spss software before i discuss about one sample t test let me give you a bit information about t test Basically t test are some inferential statistical techniques that are used for comparisons whenever you have to do comparative analysis in quantitative research you can apply different types of t test for example if you want to compare the situations like before and after t test is appropriate similarly With the help of t-test you can also compare numerical values or multiple groups like male female etc For each of the instance different types of t-test can be used like for comparison of multiple groups you can use one way ANOVA technique for comparing the situations paired sample t-test is appropriate and for numerical values comparisons one sample t-test is used But in this particular video I will only be discussing about one sample t test for other t test techniques please refer to my another videos so let's get started one sample t test is a statistical technique that is used to compare the different numerical values like with the help of one sample t test we can compare the claimed numeric value with the actual numeric value In order to understand the situation let's take an example Suppose an ABC school claims that the average salary of their teachers is 40000 rupees In this case we will have to compare the numeric values like in the situation the claimed value or teacher salary is 40000 rupees and I'm going to compare it with the actual average salary of teachers by applying one sample t test on the gathered data okay so before i tell you how to perform the one sample t test let's assume the actual average salary and the claimed average salary of teachers are same this is the assumption or you can say the hypothesis statement with the help of the findings of one sample t test we will see whether to accept or reject the hypothesis so let's do the analysis okay on this data set i'm going to apply one sample t test so in this variable view section you can see multiple variable are listed here like gender qualification designation salary and you can see the data in the data view section so let's do the analysis In order to apply one sample t test go to analyze compare means and one sample t test You can see the small window In this window you can see there are two small boxes at the left side you can see all the variables are listed which are listed in the variable view and the right side test variable box is empty So out of four variables the studied variable in our situation is teacher salary because we are going to compare the teacher salary the actual teacher salary with the claimed teacher salaries so i'm going to select teacher salary and move it into the test variable box and at the bottom you can see test value in the test value box you have to write down the claimed value So in our situation it was 40000 which was claimed by the ABC school that the average salary of their teacher is 40000 so that is why i have written 40000 here in the test value which is the claimed value okay so all set now press okay so this is the output window and uh, you can see there are two tables and they are the output of one sample t test the first table is only illustrating the descriptive information like the number of sample size in the data set the mean 
of the salary, the standard deviation and the standard error. And in the second table you can see uh, there are different values like T stats value, SIG value. With the help of these values we are going to take the decision. So before we interpret the tables, let's see the threshold. Okay, so the rule of thumb is if the significance level is less than 0.05 or 5%, reject the null hypothesis. Rejection of null hypothesis means that the claimed average salaries and the actual average salaries of the teachers are not same. So let's see the output. Okay, based on the threshold, if the significance level is less than 0.05, the null hypothesis should be rejected. So let's see the one sample test. SIG value in our case is 0, 0.000, which is lesser than 0 0.05. It means the null hypothesis should be rejected. That says that the salary the actual salary of teachers and the claimed salaries of teachers are same. We can also confirm the result by looking at the one sample statistics table. Here you can see uh, the mean salaries of teachers and it is 34,419. It is not 40,000. It means that the, the claimed average salary by an ABC school is wrong. The average salary is not 40,000, it is 34,000. So this is how you can apply one sample t-test and you can compare the numerical values, the claimed values and the actual values and draw the conclusion. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.